Welcome to Finance with Avery. In this video, I want to give you a detailed overview of some of the top high yield savings accounts with ATM cards. Because most savings accounts, whether they be online high yield savings accounts or you know brick and mortar savings accounts, they typically don't come with ATM cards or debit cards or anything like that. It's just hey, you got a savings account, that's it. However, some people like to have you know that access to their money with the ATM card, and I totally understand that. So in this video, I'm going to go into detail about three top high yield savings accounts that have ATM cards that come with them for free and also a couple of honorable mentions that are similar to these high yield savings accounts with ATM cards. So before we jump into the honorable mentions and the list, let's go over some of the things that all of these accounts have in common, which are very important features with some of these features. If the account didn't have it, like FDIC insurance, I wouldn't even talk about it on my YouTube channel whether it be like the account or the financial institution themselves, because that's a very important feature when it comes to holding your money at a bank. Let's get into these common features right here. So first up, like I said, FDIC insured. All of these accounts that I'm going to talk about in this video have that Federal Deposit Insurance Corporation insurance with them. So typically that covers up to $250,000 of your deposit in that account. So that will be covered under that independent agency that was created by Congress, the FDIC, which would cover it in case the bank went under, you know, if they went bankrupt or something happened. Basically, your money in that account would be covered no matter what happened to that bank. The government steps in and they pay it for it, basically. Banks that have FDIC insurance have never gone under with people losing their funds like yes FDIC insured banks have gone under but people that had that money with them in their you know personal accounts have not lost that money with that FDIC insurance so that is the first common feature that all of these accounts have in common that's very important like I stated if they didn't have this even if they had all these other things I probably wouldn't talk about it on my channel maybe unless I was talking about that specifically you know with them you know not having that so the next thing is that all of these accounts have variable APYs annual percentage yields which typically that's the normal thing with savings accounts checking accounts that have APYs interest so with a variable APY what that basically is stating is that the APY the interest rate the yield on the account can change at any time it can change next week it can change next month I can release this video you know today and later today that bank or financial institution could announce that they're changing the APY. And so that's something that comes with the territory with savings accounts is that they have variable APYs that can change. Right now, the APYs have been trending up for the past year. You know, a lot of savings accounts have been raising their rates almost every month, every other month. I do ranking videos, you know, top 10 savings accounts ranked by APY every other month or so. And you can look at the rankings and see what the APYs are, you know, months ago and then look at them more recently. You'll see how they've increased for several accounts. So yeah, all of these accounts have variable APYs that are subject to change next up here none of these accounts have monthly maintenance fees so there are no monthly maintenance fees attached to any of these accounts there's no kind of you know you have to keep a certain balance in the account for you to not have a fee or have a certain amount of transactions or anything like that so no monthly maintenance fee with these accounts right here and that's actually something that's not super common with even with like major banks big banks some of them have monthly maintenance fees with their accounts if you don't have a certain balance in your account or something like that but with all of these accounts no monthly maintenance fee also, there is no minimum balance required for any of these accounts. So you don't have to keep a certain amount of money in the account to keep it open or to avoid a fee or anything like that. And for most of these accounts, you can open the account without any certain, you know, initial deposit amount but yeah none of these accounts have a minimum balance required and also with these accounts of course there's an ATM card with nationwide ATM access so that's pretty much the main headline of this you know video or savings accounts with ATM cards so yes all of these accounts have ATM cards they have nationwide ATM access and that's access to thousands upon thousands of ATMs across the United States and I'll get into the certain numbers that they state on their websites and everything for each of these accounts and also all of these accounts have electronic external transfer transfers so those ACH transfers where you could transfer you know different amounts from these accounts to another bank account basically so that's one way that people move money around to deposit money into these accounts or withdraw money from these accounts is that you could transfer money from these accounts to another bank that you have you know to your checking account at a different financial institution or bank or you could transfer funds from that bank to one of these accounts so all of these accounts have electronic external transfers that are available for free there's no charge on that typically most of them have unlimited transfers so you could do like you know 10 in a day five in a day you know 20 in a week if you wanted to without any kind Kind of fee associated with that and also another important common feature that all of these accounts have is that they all have mobile apps available on the apple and google play app store and with these online savings accounts that's pretty much how a lot of people access the accounts how they move money from them you know a mobile check deposit or check out their interest they gained in the month or anything like that basically you can do a lot 
with these accounts through the mobile apps. So all of these accounts have mobile apps that are available on the Apple or Google Play App Store. So if you have an iPhone or Android phone, you can access your account 24 seven, basically, you know, check it out within your mobile app of your phone. You know, if you have internet access or, you know, uh, wireless access, data access, something like that, you know, Wi-Fi, however. So yeah, all of these accounts have mobile apps. And that is it with the common features. Now I want to tell you about some of the honorable mentions. First honorable mention here I have is Wealthfront. Now Wealthfront was founded in 2008. Currently they have an APY of 4.80% on their cash account. So this account is not necessarily called a savings account or a checking account, anything like that. They basically pretty much kind of call it like a cash account, kind of like a hybrid between a savings account and a checking account because of some of the things that you can do with this account. However, it has that high yield, which is normally associated with savings accounts because, you know, the national average that you see right there for a savings account is 0.42% they're stating on the website, which is, you know, very low. I typically don't talk about those videos because you can get, you know, four or 5% with these online high yield savings accounts on your money. And let your money make money for you, you know, basically. If you want to know a lot of more details about this account with Wealthfront, definitely check out my video on my YouTube channel. I did a deep dive, detail, overview, review video of this account for Wealthfront. So check that out. I have a link down in the description for that. So yeah, let me tell you about some more about this account though. So yeah, with this account, like I stated, zero fees, unlimited withdrawals and transfers. And this account right here has up to 5 million FDIC insurance. So like I stated at the beginning of the video, typically FDIC insurance covers up to 250,000. That's like the base basically. But some accounts have more FDIC insurance than that. This is one of those accounts that has more FDIC insurance. But what they do with this account is that they spread your deposits around two different partner banks, which gives you more than that $250,000 FDIC insurance. And they have a list about the other partner banks that they work with on their website like I stated it's more details in that video I have about this account but yeah this account has up to five million dollars of FDIC insurance with them so more than the standard two hundred fifty thousand dollars and no minimum or maximum balance to earn that 4.80 percent APY that's typically how it is with a lot of these accounts is that you don't have to have a certain balance on the account or anything to get that APY and here's some information about the ATM card that you can get with Wealthfront. So with this cash account, you have to pretty much kind of request checking features with it. Once you have the account open, you don't automatically get the debit card. It doesn't cost you anything, but you have to pretty much request it. They have to check your account to make sure it's in good standing and things like that. And so once you get that, you'll have checking features, which includes like the debit card, and mobile check deposit and things like that. With this ATM card, you have fee free access to 19,000 in network ATMs with this card. So and they have the ATM locator on the website so you can check it out to see which ATMs are available without a fee around you. So 19,000 ATMs you can access your cash with so you can make withdrawals at these ATMs with your ATM card which is a debit card for Wealthfront because Wealthfront like I say this is kind of like a hybrid account. So this has a debit card which acts as an ATM card but also as a debit card issued through Visa. And the ATM withdrawal limit for this account is $1,000 daily. And if you wanted to deposit cash with this account, there is a way you can do that, but they don't have a lot of specific details on it. On the website, it states that at select retailers, you can use your debit card to deposit cash up to $3,000 per day. And it says to ask your retailer if they accept cash loads. If they do, you'll pay a fee of up to $5.95. Something you just kind of have to ask wherever you're at, whether it be Walgreens or Target or Dollar Tree, somewhere like that, like, hey, do you accept cash loads? Can I load? cash on my account with this debit card and typically they'll know what you're talking about and you know you'll get the fee and everything like that so some companies they work with green dot and different banks like that to have that access like that so yeah that is one way you could do that with the cash deposits hopefully they'll add more details about that because some accounts have like certain locations you can go to that you can do this at but that's all they state right now on their website so that is the first honorable mention right there wealth front cash account which is like a hybrid of a savings account and a checking account that you can get a debit card with and the next honorable mention is SoFi. SoFi was founded in the summer of 2011. And I have a very detailed video on SoFi as well. I'll link it down in the description. It goes into detail about the checking and savings accounts, the investing products they have, and various things about SoFi. So yeah, if you want to know a lot of more details about it, definitely check out that video. Overview of this account though, basically SoFi has a checking and savings account. So when you open one, it automatically opens the other one for you. You can't just open a checking account with them or just a savings account with them. You don't have to use both of them necessarily, but you 
will get the other one no matter if you're just wanting to use the checking or the savings you'll get the other one and you can just leave it there or you can use it me personally I've used these accounts and they work very well together and that's why I'm featuring it as an honorable mention because the savings account itself doesn't come with the ATM card or debit card but the checking account of SoFi comes with a MasterCard debit card so you can use that to access ATMs and yes that's going to be with the checking account but the checking account works so seamlessly with the savings account that is pretty much like a debit card for your savings account somewhat because you can transfer money from your savings to your checking or vice versa from your checking to your savings and it's there pretty much immediately you see it in the app you see the money move over and it's there I've done this several times and I've not had any issues with it they work very well together and that's why I'm talking about it in this video but however in the honorable mention section so yes these accounts work very well together and that's one way you can kind of have a debit card with ATM access with a savings account but let it be you know with the checking account but it can pretty much work with your savings account and if you have direct deposit linked to either your checking account or your savings account with SoFi you'll get that high yield of 4.50 percent APY on your savings account however if you don't have direct deposit linked to either of those accounts then your APY on that savings account is going to be 1.20 percent and that direct deposit doesn't have to be your whole check amount it could be you know five percent fifty percent however much of it you just have to have some sort of direct deposit amount going into your account at least once a month for you to get that high yield of 4.50 percent on the savings account so that is pretty much like a stipulation that this account comes with you just don't have the APY flat out at that 4.50 percent you have to get that obtained by having that direct deposit so that's the fine print with that right there so yes with the SoFi account have a lot of other features with it the vaults which is like saving goals you can move money over to it and have it more organized for your saving goals as far as like vacation or for a home or car different things like that have roundups you know debit card purchases so withdrawing and depositing cash with this SoFi account to withdraw money you can simply visit any of their 55,000 all point ATMs which they state is more than Chase Wells Fargo and Bank of America combined and they state you won't pay any fee as long as you visit one of these ATMs and you can locate that within the app you know on online basically all over the United States 55,000 all point ATMs there's a very likely chance you're somewhere near at least one of them probably multiple of them so yeah and that's going to be fee free that you won't have pay any kind of fee to withdraw your money at you just simply visit one of those ATMs with the debit card and you can get access to your money now initially it's going to be your checking account of course but if you move money over from your savings to your checking then you can basically access your savings account that way with that card and also to deposit money, what you have to do is visit a retail location that offers Green Dot services and have a link on there which you can go and check out which locations offer this service that you can go to. So it's similar to Wealthfront as far as like you have to go to a certain retailer to deposit cash and there's a fee associated with it as well. So yeah, you can go there and see which locations you can deposit cash at. I personally not have not done this. Like I do have a SoFi account and I definitely, you know, have my referral link down in the description if you want to check that out. But yeah, I have not done this, but that's what I've heard that people do and that's what they stay on their website you can deposit cash it just charges you a fee to do that so that's how you withdraw or deposit cash with that ATM debit card basically and they have a limit of a thousand dollars per day as far as withdrawing money with an ATM for this account and SoFi also has mobile check deposits so you can you know deposit money within your savings account or checking account with taking a picture of a physical check the front and the back you know assigning it and all that they have the steps and the processes within the app that you can do that so that's one way you can deposit money into your savings account and also of course through transferring from your checking account of SoFi to the savings account or an external account from another bank you could transfer to this savings account or from this savings account and with SoFi, you have the option to enroll in FDIC insurance up to $2 million with their SoFi insured deposit program. So how they're able to do this is similar to Wealthfront because they spread your deposits around to their different program partner banks. Sometimes banks and financial institutions call them program banks or partner banks or participating banks. So SoFi has their network or participating banks right here on their website. So you can check them out because there is kind of like a crossover element that could come as a conflict if you have deposits at one of these banks and then also so far that will go into your FDIC insurance amount so you can't like stack it up you know like have two million at so far and then 250,000 at this other bank you know Bell Bank and then uh, 300,000 at Citizens Bank and 
500,000 at Centennial Bank and have like FDIC insurance on all those amounts. So the amounts you have at those other banks will cut into your amount of that up to $2 million at SoFi if you enroll in this program. If you don't enroll in the program, your FDIC insurance is going to be that standard $250,000. But they do have it within the app and online where you can enroll in that program and it's free. It doesn't cost you anything. You just have to pretty much agree to it. So SoFi and Wealthfront are the two financial institutions on this video where you can get more than that $250,000 FDIC insurance. Now, once I go into the list of the three other accounts in the video, all of those accounts have the FDIC insurance as well. However, it's up to that $250,000 standard amount, which is still, of course, a lot of money. And so, yes, that is the next honorable mention right there, the SoFi checking and saves account. So, yes, yeah, pretty much like a hybrid. It's a separate account. There's separate account numbers. So they pretty much are separate accounts. It's not like a hybrid account, like the Wealthfront account, where it's one account with savings features and checking features. These are separate accounts, but they work very well together seamlessly. In the first top high yield savings account with an ATM card I want to talk about here is the Synchrony High Yield Savings. Now, Synchrony has roots that trace back to 1932, so long ways back. However, they spun off from their parent company in June of 2014. So that's how long Synchrony has pretty much been around with Synchrony and then before then with GE Capital Retail Bank and all of that. Synchrony High Yield Savings currently has an APY of 4.75%, and that's just a flat APY. You don't have to have any kind of direct deposit, any kind of stipulations with that. 4.75% APY, and you see some of the common features I was talking about towards the beginning of the video. No minimum balance, no monthly fees. And with Synchrony, how you access your money, there's a couple of different ways. Of course, we're going to focus on the ATMs way. And the Synchrony account does come, of course, with an ATM card. And there are daily limits with that. So if the ATM cash withdrawal limit is $1,000 per day. There's no limit on the number of times you could use the ATM to withdraw cash. And then the ATM point of sale limit is $500 per day, which is separate from the cash withdrawal limit. And to access your money with the high yield savings account from Synchrony, you have to have the optional ATM card. So it's an optional card. You don't have to have it. But of course, it's on this list. So that's what I'm going to talk about is having the ATM card. So you have the ATM card and you can access your money at various ATMs across the United States. Now, the ATMs that they work with are ATMs displaying the plus or Excel logos. So if you use one of those ATMs, Synchrony Bank does not charge a fee, but they state that there may be an ATM fee charged by the ATM owner operator. So that whatever convenience store is at or something like that, they may have some kind of fee associated with it. Usually they'll state that on the ATM or something. So if you're unsure about that, you can ask the operator, you know, somebody working at the store or something. But Synchrony Bank is not going to charge you a fee to use one of those ATMs. And Synchrony Bank also will refund domestic ATM fees charged by other financial institutions up to $5 per statement cycle. And if you have diamond status in their perks reward program, you will receive unlimited ATM fee refunds each statement cycle. So their reward structure basically is linked to the balance of your account and also tenure of your account. So if you see right there on the bottom of the screen, depending on how much your balance is or how long you've had an account with them will put you in these different reward tiers, whether it be silver, gold, platinum or diamond. And as far as making deposits to the bank account, they don't state anything about making cash deposits at ATMs or retailers or anything like that. So making deposits in this account is going to be like a standard way across savings accounts typically it's like transferring from another you know bank account within synchrony bank or doing that electronic transfer i was talking about towards the beginning of the video the ach electronic transfers from an external bank account and also you have mobile check deposit so you can deposit a check via the synchrony bank app just take a picture of it pretty much so mobile check deposit you can deposit money that way and you also have of course direct deposit wire transfer and personal or cashier's check which you have to fill out a deposit slip do all that and mail it to the address right there so some of the standard ways to deposit money into the account is what they provide right there but no way to basically deposit cash at an atm is stating i looked around on the website and everything don't see anything like that some companies have certain atms that you can deposit cash with not all the atms that they work with but some of them are like money depositing atms but i didn't see anything right there for synchrony so those are the ways right there all right, and that is my overview on the Synchrony High Yield Savings Account with the optional ATM card. Let's go on to the next account. And the next high yield savings account is one offered by Lending Club. Lending Club was founded back in 2007 and they have a high yield savings account with a current APY of 4.50%. And there's no stipulations on that one either. You don't have to have direct deposit or any certain balance amount in your account, anything like that for that 4.50% APY. The only kind of stipulation with this account is that you have to have a minimum initial deposit of $100 to open this account. So this account does have a requirement to open the account. You have 
have to deposit at least a hundred dollars and you do that you know via the external transfers from another bank something like that and this one has you know the ways to move money around like the other savings accounts with that unlimited external transfers to and from this account and lending club of course has the mobile app like all these accounts do and they have mobile check deposits so you can you know take a picture of the check front and back follow the instructions to deposit a check to your savings account and of course with this account being featured on my video it does have a free atm card that they state that you can access your money quickly and easily with and of course the same thing with this account you know no monthly maintenance fees no minimum balance requirements there is that requirement as far as like opening the account with hundred dollars but you don't have to keep a certain amount in the account but this account has all those other features as I listed in the common features section of the video towards the beginning. And with the ATMs, Lending Club is a member of two nationwide surcharge free ATMs. So they are a part of the Money Pass and the Sum SM ATM networks. And those are all over the place. And they state that you can use your Lending Club ATM card at any of the more than 37,000 ATMs without incurring an ATM surcharge. So those are their fee free. ATMs that you can go to and not have to worry about any fees or anything like that. And they have the locator on the website. You know, you can find the ATMs in your area that participate with that, you know, money pass or some SM network. So you can easily find in network ATMs. And also with this account, you can deposit cash at certain money pass deposit taking ATMs. So you can find those specific ones as well. And when you first open a savings account with Lending Club, you're going to be put in that preferred category in their reward tier right there. As you see, they have preferred, elite, and reserve. So you pretty much start out as preferred. So your ATM withdrawal daily limit is going to be $500. Now, if you go up to elite, it's going to be $1,000 or reserve is going to be $2,000. And your placement in that reward tier depends on your balance of your accounts. Basically, as you see, you have a certain balance, you know, of greater than $10,000 for more than 30 days or $30,000 for seven consecutive days. You'll be in that elite category. And then more than that, as you see right there in that reserve category. But starting off with the savings account lending club your atm daily withdrawal limit is going to be 500 dollars per day and another thing that's interesting about lending club and their atm network is that they have a fee rebate program so let me show you and tell you about this lending club atm fee rebates they have unlimited monthly reimbursements for out of network atms and they state on their website that you can get unlimited atm fee rebates and save over 175 dollars this year they're just basing that on like an average stating that you know average fee for out of network ATMs is two dollars and fifty cents per visit. So they're just calculating, you know, as you see right there, six to ten times per month, things like that. So that's where they get that hundred seventy five dollars. Not saying they're just going to give you that. They're just saying as an average, basically. So they have a fee rebate program. So pretty much you can almost access like any ATM nationwide with this. And they, I was trying to look for the fine print. I don't see any kind of asterisk or any fine print on this section of their website for this. I thought it was going to be like a, you know, certain amount or month or a certain you know, statement period or something like that. But they just state it's unlimited ATM fee rebates. So that is something that was just kind of like a standout with this account is that they have unlimited monthly reimbursements for out of network ATMs. So you have that money pass and some SM network that's in their network nationwide that you don't have to, you know, worry about any fees popping up, but then you can use other ATMs. And when the fee, you know, shows on your account, then they'll end up giving you a rebate for it. So that's a neat feature right there. Pretty much opens up more ATMs at your disposal. And that is the overview of the Lending Club High Yield Personal Savings Account. And next on the list of high yield savings accounts with ATM cards, we have the UFB Direct High Yield Savings Account with a staggering APY of 5.25%. And there's no stipulations on that. You don't have to have direct deposit or a certain balance in your account, a certain tier, anything like that. It's 5.25% APY annual percentage yield on this account, which is one of the highest. And like I've stated previously, I do those ranking videos of top 10 savings accounts ranked by APY every other month or so. And this one recently was at the top of that list for sure there's only one other account i believe that had a higher apy than that and that was because of a promotion they have going on so yeah ufb direct has a staggering very high apy 5.25 percent and i have a video that goes in way more detail about this account on my youtube channel and i'll link it down in the description so if you want to know a lot of details you know define print different things with this account and it's divided up into chapters so you can skip around anything like that so yeah if you want to know more information on this account definitely check out that video but i'm going to give you an overview right here so ufb direct is an online only bank and they're a division of Axos Bank which is a digital bank founded in the year 2000 so that's how long they've pretty much been around here 
So of course, this high yield savings account by UFB Direct has all those common features I've talked about in that section of the video. You know, the no monthly maintenance fees, the no minimum balance requirements, you know, the mobile app on the Apple and Google Play app stores, the transfers, you know, external bank transfers that are free and all that going on basically in the common features section. And of course, the complimentary ATM card. So this comes with a free ATM card that you can use at a lot of different ATMs. And I'm going to tell you about these ATMs here. And on their website, they state with the ATMs, your account offers free ATM withdrawals at approximately 91,000 convenient locations across the nation. So that is a lot of ATMs right there. And they state, you know, to discover the ATMs where you can make withdrawals near you, you can log in and use their ATM locator. So you can find ATMs across the nation that you can use to make withdrawals. And also they state that you can find certain ATMs that you can make deposits for cash. So you can deposit cash at participating ATMs nationwide as well. And you'll find that in the ATM locator, they'll pretty much, you can have it filtered by, you know, showing just the ones that accept deposits of cash or the ones that don't. There's going to be way more ATMs that just offer withdrawals instead of the ones that, you know, you can deposit cash at. For some reason, that's just how it is with the ATM network. Most of them, you know, pretty much are just for mainly withdrawals. And then there are some that you can deposit cash at. And with the cash withdrawal with USB Direct and their ATM card, there is a daily limit of $510. So the cash withdrawal from ATM using the ATM card limit is $510. $510. The point of sale transaction using your ATM card is $500 limit. So those are the limits for the daily ATM cards. Pretty much keeps in line with some of the other accounts. It's pretty much either $500 or $1,000. And this one right here, of course, that $510 outlier right there. But yeah, that's pretty much what I see kind of standard throughout these accounts. And that's a brief overview right there of the UFB high yield saves account. Like I stated, if you want more information about this account, definitely check out my link in the description for my video about the UFB high yield saves account that has a lot more details. And that is it with my video on the top high yield savings accounts with ATM cards. Hope you all enjoyed the video. Take care.